All right, so 2-5, Algebra 1. Today's date is Friday, September 20th, 9 slash 20th, 2019. Quiet race hand, who wants to solve, equate, or who wants to read the objective? I almost gave it away. Jerry, go for it. Um, solve equations with distribution and variable There it is. It's going to be 50 XP for participating. Thank you, Game Warden. All right, so simplifying. We talked about this step at the very end of 2-4. Before solving an equation, you need to simplify both sides of the equation. So you're simplifying the left-hand side all by itself. Then simplify the right-hand side. You're going down with PEMDAS. Go all the way through it and then make sure it's simplified. And then you're going to start doing going backwards. So to know that both sides are simplified, there should be no... What's that T P stand for? Quiris and Emma? Uh, there should be no parentheses. So you can just put the symbols for parentheses. Thank you, Emma. There should be no parentheses. If you have simplified, theoretically, there should be no parentheses. And all the, what are the, what's that name for things that I'm allowed to add together? Like X and X are considered this, or it starts with L. Does anyone remember that term? Quite raise hand with a card. Charles? Like terms? Like terms. All the like terms should be added together. And I add 50. Yeah, 50 for participating. And I'm just going to make it a blanket 50, even if you get it wrong, because you're still participating. All like terms should be added together. All right. So we have two examples, and then we're done with the notes. Let's go through this. So obviously, example one and example two both are not simplified. So we need to simplify. How am I going to do that? Does anyone see a first step that I could do? I'm looking for a card. Oh, yes, Larissa. Yeah, okay, tell us how to do that. So 4 times 5 gives us, and then distribute the next one. Ooh, careful. There it is, negative 4p. Keep reading the equation. All right, thank you. That's our first step, and it's going to be 50 XP to you for participating. Yes, the first step is indeed to distribute because we're just going down with PEMDAS. We start at P, then E, then M and D, then A and S. You're just going down. We saw the parentheses first, so we're going to get rid of them by multiplying through. I guess if there was an exponent first, we would have done that. But we are we just did M. Now we're N on to A and S. Does anyone see any addition and subtraction that we can do with like terms? Ooh, a card. Yes, Jade. 20 minus 3. What is that going to be? Uh, we're just going to do 17. All right, read our new equation then. There it is. We combine like terms. And I'm going to go ahead and circle the, the like terms. Thank you, Jade. Cool. Uh, I would say that when solving equations, the most common error when we get to this step is thinking, oh, if I have uh, 20 and 3, I'm going to add 3 here and here. You're adding it to the same side. You can never add to the same side. You're really just simplifying. So don't add 3, add 3. You can only add 3 to both sides of the equal side. Because we're only dealing with the left-hand side, we are just simplifying by adding like terms. We're just staying on the left, staying on the right. All right, both sides are simplified. I've combined all like terms, which means I need to start solving. I'm going backwards with PEMDAS. Start with A and S. What should we do first? You can either deal with constants or the variables first. Ulysses? Uh, so you like subtract um, 4P from Subtract, so like minus minus 4p or just minus 4p? Minus. Double minus? Like that? Yeah. You're correct. That'll work. Um, most people will write this, a double negative would make a what though, Ulysses? Positive. Positive. So you can write this as plus 4p or minus minus. I mean, both are technically correct. This one will probably be a little bit easier just saying add 4p. The opposite of minus is add, so you can just add 4p. Yeah, perfect. And then what happens when you add 4p to both sides, Ulysses? Can you read our new equation? There it is, yeah. 50 XP, thank you. And I'll take your card. All right. Next step. We have two more steps. Esha. Um, you are, I, um, minus the 1 on both sides. All right. Read us our new equation, please. Uh, 16 equals 18. There it is. 
16 is indeed equal to 8p because those cancel out. And our last step, I see two hands. I see three hands. I see four hands. Ooh, a card. Yes, Eamon. Okay. That equals two equals P. Two equals P, and I'm going to do what since that's my final answer? Opposite. There it is. Thank you, Eamon. Two is equal to P. That is a nice little example. All right, so uh, give me a fist of five on example one. How well do you think you could do that on your own? Five is like, ah, I got this, Mr. Sindel. I don't even need to do example number two because I got this so good. I got four, five, 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 four, four, five, five. No one's a three. All right, so because our scores are so high, I want you guys to try doing example two by yourselves. I will give you this hint, though. I will give you this hint. When I have this negative sign right here, always think of this as negative one. Think of this as negative one. Draw a one right here and then distribute the negative one into each of these. You're going to have to distribute on the left and on the right, combine any like terms that you might have, and then start solving. All right, good luck. I'm done. <laughs> You're already done. Okay. Oh, where should I going? All right, so we're back. Oh. First step. Someone do the left. I'll get two volunteers. One for the left, one for the right. Left, yes, Hazi. You have to multiply. Okay. Minus four. And you get? Negative four. Perfect. And then? Plus. Minus. Minus. Or minus 2c like that. All right, perfect. Thank you. I'll take your card, and it's going to be 50 XP. Thank you, Larissa. And the right side. Who wants to do the right side? Larissa. There it is, indeed. All right, so we distributed. Perfect. Next step. Who wants to go for it? Emma, go for it. You can do any step that you want. plus 18c, plus 18c. And what do I get when I do that? Perfect, thank you. All right, next volunteer, what do we do next? You might not have done this exact method. Only one person knows what would happen after this. It might be a little bit different from yours. Ulysses? Add four, add four, and then what do I get? Sixteen. All right. Perfect. Thank you. And our final last step. Let's go with Esha. Uh, you would do sixteen C divided by sixteen divided by sixteen, and then you would get C equals one. There it is. Done. Um, I know that everyone's kind of already started on Khan Academy. Give me a fist of five on our objective solve equations with distribution on variables and variables on both sides. Fist of five, how well can you do these? Let's see, five, five, four, is that a three and a half? Four and a half? Five, five. Five, and, oh, five, okay. Yeah, nice scores. All right, cool. Good luck on the homework.